Welcome, God, I have a everybody, hangout. to the fucking <laughs> Dungeons podcast. You already fucked it up, dude. You, hey, you know what's even funnier is is Argus. Uh, when you tell him that, hey, you already fucked it up, you also <laughs> have to be fucking it up. <laughs> but anyways, Whatever. it is I, Milk, and uh, we got we got Borlon who's giggling like a little sweet little lamb. Yeah, mm-hmm. and we got Argus over here who ruins the hello. <laughs> no, he he helped me, or I was an accomplice in him ruining it. So I need you to respect me. The only thing, the the only thing I had, more about I had to like, like pick the most random as saying too was like, oh, I have a hangnail while he's talking. <laughs> <laughs> well, the only thing more obnoxious than Borlon ruining the the opening is you telling him to not ruin the opening during the opening. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I wanted to start it off by uh, talking about Borlon's bad joke skills. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Because oh, I yeah. I said I I recently just watched um, Taxi Driver for the very first time in my whole mm-hmm. my whole life. And uh, Borlon took it as like, oh, you never seen like a, you never seen like a Middle Eastern guy like in a car and shit, like those yellow cars. <laughs> I never said that. Yeah. <laughs> well, you never seen like some dirty fucking brown guy in a in a taxi before. That's weird. Can't right. say I'm racist <laughs> and then proceed to say racist shit, and then and then it costs me for being racist. Like, oh, Borlon, your racism isn't as as bad as me being racist. <laughs> yeah, because one's well, funny. Well, I can be racist? Oh, the reason why I can be racist is because I'm Mexican. Shut up. <laughs> it's because Shut up. My, it's because my, my racism is funny <laughs> and your racism is hateful. <laughs> the difference is skin color. Yeah, got it. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, <laughs> I watched Taxi Driver for the first time and uh, I did hear like a lot of hype about it. Like saying like it's oh it's the greatest movie on earth, it's fucking Jesus Jesus A H R Christ <laughs> couldn't it couldn't compare it to Taxi Driver. You say Jesus H R Christ? Jesus H R Christ. Jesus Human Resources Christ. Good to know. <laughs> no, it's Jesus Human, human uh, R Resources. R just stands for R like a like J R Cash. <laughs> human Resources Christ. Bro, dude, he said Jesus HR Christ. So that's the first thing that popped into my mind. It's a funny scene. <laughs> uh, Clarice, I need to see you in human resources. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I watched Taxi Driver, dude. It was pretty good. Even despite all the hype. No, it came out in the 70s. Um, mm. I will say, I saw, like, older clips like clips of like the original like shitty looking quality version and i gotta say it looks better on that old shitty uh quality version because uh i don't know it kind of adds to the grittiness of that movie whereas like the new like uh remastered version doesn't look as bad it looks nice but it doesn't look like nasty and gross like it did in the Mm. old one but uh yeah, it was a fucking great movie. Um, it reminded me of Borderline when his racism runs rampant. <laughs> yeah, just how much he hates people of color. Yeah, he kills like a black guy and he kills like a bunch of like uh pimps. And end. I spare the white people, of course. No. And the movie's like about In like, no way you no, should say that like the, that. the, mo- the no. movie's about like a marine as well, right? He's a Vietnam veteran, and he just drives a taxi. So this movie yeah. isn't new. It, no, so it's an old my movie. experience I told you with a hmm? my experience with a movie about a taxi driver was one about. <laughs> I don't remember what this movie was, um, but it was I believe it was The Rock, right? And he was yeah. a taxi driver. So it's already bad and... because The Rock's in it. So, is wow. that Journey to Witch Mountain? You know what? It might be. It was the uh, with the little girl in the back. It, it became a meme where she would like, see something stupid and he yeah, would like look like, in the like, back seat. No, it was like it was like the, it was like the two. I think yeah, I think it was. It was the it was like the two teenagers and they're like aliens or they were running from aliens or something. What the hell? And they had like powers and shit. Yes. The Rock was in it. 
Yes. Yeah, he yeah he was like the main character, and I think he, I think by the end of it he he like basically became the dad to these two kids or something, right? Mm-hmm. No, we stick together. I, I hate the rock. That's what he said. That was <laughs> lying. You hate the rock? I don't think he's a very good actor. I remember. I, think, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there's. I don't know. That... I think as an as an act. Oh yeah, go ahead. Sorry. There's a scene from Journey to Witch Mountain where they are. He, he it, it's it's in he's in his motel room because he lives there for some reason. Mm -hmm. it, it, and it starts up and like, like somebody's having sex like above or below him. And like they're super fucking loud, and then he decides like an hour later I'm gonna start hitting this punching bag. He has a punching bag up in this motel, and he's like beating the shit out of it. And then somebody bangs on the wall and says, "Hey, keep it the fuck down!" <laughs> like that's the problem with the entire motel is him beating on a punching bag. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah, they just can't handle a, a Samoa and you know fucking. He should have started fucking <laughs> beating that on bag. a. <laughs> It's so weird. Dude. Like you just hear him like like moaning horribly and and like humping like all this sand. <laughs> what? He's like, oh fuck! I'm about to blow. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he he puts his hand on the on the window, and it's it's like it, like, it, like it leaves a handprint from all the fog. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm sexy. <laughs> it's like a sexy scene. <laughs> yeah, this is a child's I, movie. This is a children's movie. Yeah, something like that. Are you looking at <laughs> clips of it right now? And no, they, no, they no. Go, I'm just wondering. They actually go to Comic Con, and the alien goes there, and everyone's like, "Oh, wow, cool, cool suit. Did you make that at home?" My, who's in the alien? It was the aliens. The alien has been chasing them. He's a oh, cancer. what did the alien look like? Yeah. Uh, there. He actually does look like an alien from the movie. He an he's alien. just a giant fucking thumb. Are we still talking about this, the same movie, or we with me, or have we moved on? Journey I've got like a lot. No okay, cool. He literally <laughs> looks like a giant thong. The the Rock, right? You say you don't like him as an actor. Well, I, I'm just curious why. I just I just think he's bad at acting. I recently you watched Fast acting? and Furious just Five, like, and, just like uh -huh. and he was definitely the probably the worst actor in the whole in the whole movie. That's when they're in. That's <laughs> in, when they're in Rio, right? Yeah, I mean that's saying ah, something gotcha. because I mean all those actors are not very good. You got Vin Diesel being fucking tranquilized the entire time. Uh, <laughs> I'm not even gonna hold you, bro. <laughs> Be the old, I don't think I think Paul Walker was a pretty good actor, but I I think most people didn't actually appreciate Paul Walker as an actor until after he died. So like the OG people who were fans of him before he died. Yeah. Actually like in my opinion best know how good of an actor he was. In he my died? Opinion. Yeah, he, <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, he, I, I know. <laughs> I was there. I was talking to those. Yeah, I, was, I, I was, killed. I was him. watching with some people, and they were telling me how um the car was actually invented to kill you <laughs> if you ever crashed. It was invented to kill Paul Walker, uh, specifically. I believe that that make of the car. Um, there was I it's took to split when, open and smush him. <laughs> when I was in <laughs> my freshman year of high school. Oh, and in my opinion, um. The Rock in his first, in his like debut as Hobbs, um, yeah, I don't think it was the best acting, but like I think he's gotten better like in movies like Hobbs and Shaw. But there's also a ton of other movies he's been in. I, think I really like just the like films a less he's charismatic with... uh, version of the Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's actually <laughs> fun and charming. Why do you always say with an eye? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I say it correctly. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, I'm not the only one hearing it, right? Arnold Schwarzenegger. How am I saying it wrong? <laughs> that yeah, time you said, said it right. That's his right. name. Yeah, that time you said it right. Anytime you just say it normally, like casually, you say it with an eye. Arnold Schwarzenegger. I don't. I don't know. I don't understand. This is not like the Jews thing. This is just. <laughs> 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 this is just the right way you say it. It, it. So, if I hear everybody else say it, it's with an e. When I hear you say it, it's with an eye, especially like like when you're just talking. Yeah, you just wish that would happen. Because you love racism. I've said it before that <laughs> I hear you say it with an eye, and I'm like, could you not say it like that? And then you're just like, what? I said it right. I'm saying it right. So does Argus agrees. It's just you. You just love racism. <laughs> you're. I'm just trying to. to I'm just trying to find a, an opening to to talk. To be honest. <laughs> uh, there was. Uh, I'm not sure you guys heard, but what the fuck is that girl's name? It was. It was the the first female 
the protagonist that uh, Paul Walker's character fell in love with? Kristen Stewart? No. No! Ellen Page. No. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I'm terrible with names of actors. It's uh, Elliot, by the way. Well, I mean, back then it would have been Ellen Page. Well, well okay. If you, <laughs> if you remember her, just know that when she got married, she uh, had her and her new husband drive in a car with that was actually the same car that Paul Walker drove in the first movie, and it they had a decal of him in the driver's seat uh, mm -hmm. to honor honor his memory. A and and he, the hug... <laughs> like a roll-on sticker. Yes, <laughs> dude. dude. After is... when I when I was in freshman year of high school, I took a like a I took a class on like cars. Right, I don't know why. I just like wanted to take it because I thought it'd be neat. Mm -hmm. Well, um. Uh, what's the word? Uh, my the teacher, he we somehow got onto the topic of Paul Walker, and he's like, "Oh yeah, like I remember Fast. I remember Paul Walker in Fast and Furious before he was Fast and Dead." And everyone just sat there in total silence. It's like, <laughs> dude, what the before actual he was fast fuck? And they squished in like a red pace on the yeah, pavement. He was, yeah, he, he was like, "Yeah, now he's like he, he was yeah he was Fast and Furious. Now he's Fast and Dead." And I was like, "Holy!" <laughs> I was like, right? holy shit, bro. Uh -huh. What the fuck? Now there's Good like maggots on his blood and his guts and shit all over yeah, the place. Yeah, I was floor. like, I was like, holy shit, bro. <laughs> like, damn, that's ruthless. <laughs> Just said that. That, uh, that teacher was also, I had, he got really mad at us once. For what? In, because freshmen are assholes and shit. He got really mad at us. Uh huh. So. He threw, he got so mad, uh, he threw his own stapler in his trash can as hard as he could, broke the stapler, and uh -huh. then got mad because he broke his own stapler. <laughs> you see what he's you like, made me do? <laughs> he, like, he's, basically, he like he's threw like, it in I the like trash can. He, he threw it in the trash can, he's like, fuck, and then he, and then he picks it up, he's like, damn it! And we're like, bro, you broke it! Like, what do you want from us? The next time he's gonna be holding a baby. <laughs> no. Let's see if your little yeah. bastards wanna fuck with him then. <laughs> he slams yeah. spikes into I, the I trash like, can. I was, I was like, like just dude that's we're like damn dude like what the like what I did we do a, I, i'm not sure if you guys knew this but in marine corps boot camp if drone instructors really want to express their anger they can't touch you but mm -hmm. they'll grab something you have and throw it real fucking hard on the ground mm -hmm. so it'll break and they do it once they will and they always get it right uh my senior drone instructor said that he grabbed the combination lock and you know like combination locks they're made out of metal mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, and he says he he did this with another platoon, not ours. He says mm -hmm. he, he grabbed it, threw real fucking hard on the ground, and it shattered. Oh my lord! I mean, master locks are kind of shitty, shittily made. And and this this dude this dude's a backwoods redneck. So 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 he had that that retard strength going on. So he, he <laughs> yeah, I, I believe he did it. Strength. He's a corn oh fed. True I've never blue told you about American. Tom Shutter Chuchi. Who the fuck is what? What's his name? A legend. What's his I name? I don't even remember, I don't even think that his real name is but I'm gonna keep calling him Chuchi. Chuchi? It sounds like that. It sounds... Yeah, Chuchi. What the hell? It's like He's a little cool. stripper, it was little fun, stripper. Bro. <laughs> yeah, little stripper Dude, name. I I'm gonna tell you exactly what he said to us in his voice. Well when he's teaching us how to uh pack a our, our, our little little sea bags, our duffel bags. Mm -hmm. He's like, first, you gotta grab this. This is you. This is your dick. <laughs> <laughs> and then, why does he sound go, like that? Go over to his hole. They all sound weird. You he sounds like an older hole. Eric Cartman. And his hole <laughs> is your hole. This is your hole. <laughs> an older you Eric go Cartman. Over to his place. Yeah, that's what he sounds like. You make the fuck out of her. You wrap, wrap your shit up in her. Then he grabs another hole. He goes, now, nah, now, nah, now. Nah. <laughs> then you gonna go over to your side chick, because you you still want some. You know, you know what I mean. <laughs> then, like, then he starts. You kissing go over you. to her place. And you go wrap your shit up in her. When does he start kissing you on the lips and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> when does he start kissing you? And finally, <laughs> you grab you grab more right here. You fucking kiss him all over the place. <laughs> 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 What? Right 
I love drill instructors are the funniest shit. I think that's why. Did she call over her girl? Tell her how good the dick was. You know what I mean. That's definitely why they make those. Then you go over to her place. Those boot camp videos. Make her her thing out. You know what I mean. You know those boot camp videos. That's probably why they make them so much because people love watching drill instructors yell at people. They those actually look better than what we actually experienced because what we experienced was the dumbest shit. Yeah, I grab roll uh, right here. Boy, I want you to do 15 push-ups while kissing me on the lips every time you go up, okay? <laughs> 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 oh shit. Choo Choo was the best. Choo Choo was the best. And we <laughs> had cool. I don't I don't think I told you guys. I I told uh, Choo Choo died. Choo Choo. No. Forty eight. No. Never. Choo- Does Choo Choo live forever? Choo 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 lives happily ever after. Choo Choo was actually like nineteen Did years Chuchi old. Actually... Sergeant Choo Choo will live on. <laughs> Legends feel... never die. Okay, stupid. This so- uh, it sounds like you're in denial. What ended up happening to Choo Choo? Nothing. Did he go on to live forever? Oh, I was gonna tell you about another drill instructor. Oh, let's, let's go, go for it. his face. I'm bored about I'm bored over Chi Chi at this point anyway, so wow. it's fine. Oh thanks. <laughs> <laughs> we had one drill instructor who was just... literally he literally just looked like an Oompa Loompa. And I would always say that to him. I'd be like, God, I'm tired of the fucking drum instructor Oompa Loompa over there fucking fucking with us. And then he would and I wouldn't say his name. Uh I'll 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 say I'll say it was Costco. Uh Sergeant Costco. Mm-hmm. Costco. Uh, no no, you should definitely name drop him like that one, uh, like no, that one, I mean, <laughs> that one sergeant you did a couple episodes ago. Mm-hmm. We ended up cutting that out, right? Yeah, nah, yeah. it doesn't matter. I mean, that anymore. one was bad yeah. because he was, he's still technically under, underneath that person. <laughs> not, not anymore. No, not anymore. No, they moved to another branch. Rip. Oh, what branch? Her and her poops will live on. <laughs> they probably, <laughs> they probably, they probably they are legends. <laughs> Or that drill sergeant saying, man, I'd love to see her shit. <laughs> <laughs> or that sergeant, not drill sergeant. I would idiot. love to watch that bitch oh, this guy pinch one off, pinch good. a log off. <laughs> yeah, is that what he's saying? He's like, I'd love to see her pinch one off. Like, just grab it all over my t- chest. I'm like, yo, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> uh, what was it? Uh, so, Sergeant Costco, nobody fucking liked him. Nobody liked him. Not even the other drill instructors liked him. <laughs> and they would show it. He would, like, tell us to do something for one morning. We would do it the previous night to be ready for it. And then when we all get up, we all stand in line. And then, like, uh, Sergeant, uh, what, what's another name I can give him? He's such a cool guy. I want to give him a good name. Uh, Frago. Uh, Sergeant Frago, he, he he would get up on line with us, and he would, like, see it, see what we did. And he would be like, why the fuck did y'all do this? And then he, we'd be like, uh George Hunter Sergeant Costco told this platoon to do the follow action, sir. And he's like, Of course he fucking did. Because <laughs> he never fucking liked him. Because he didn't like him. Yeah. Get mad. Uh, Sounds all right. Fargo, Fargo, though, was awesome. He, dude, was such a fucking dad. He, he. A dad. <laughs> I think, I think, I think that's the, I think for a lot of cla- platoons, though, when like the training platoons, that is, I think that's pretty common, though. They always have the, they always have, I've heard a lot. They always have the one drill instru- drill sergeant who's just a fucking dick. But like, or either next year maybe not. It's either the one that's a total dick in in public, and then in private is st- is also still a dick, or the one that is a dick in public and is really cool and really cares in private. Or you've just got that one, like I meant the aforementioned one, split down the middle into two separate drill sergeants. That, that actually, that, that wasn't that wasn't Costco. Costco was just stupid. I mean, he, so, he would he would express us how much he loved Halo. Like it was retarded. Halo, dude. Halo, uh, Halo's fucking awesome, dude. Halo Halo's awesome. awesome. He wasn't. <laughs> he wasn't. I fucking but, uh, love right. Halo. Master uh, Chief are, is right. my inspiration <laughs> for yelling at you saying. little fucks. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't fucking Master Chief. Chief is my inspiration for yelling at you little fucks. Have you ever heard of Halo? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell like you about Master Halo. <laughs> If you were a Spartan, you'd be dead right now, you piece of Actually, shit. No, no, you sound like something. You sound like, you sound like, you sound like different. You sound like, 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 you s
Oh, we're supposed to do the Goblin podcast. God damn it. No, that's, no, that's, 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 that's not, for Halloween. It's for Halloween. For Halloween? That's a special okay. edition. Okay, fair enough. Um, no, and then we also had, uh, I'm going to say, the instructor Batman. Uh, Batman. Sergeant, Sergeant Batman. He was fucking insane. He couldn't do drill, but he would fucking love smoking us on the quarter deck. Like, he, he, would just, he would just fuck us up. He just loved it. <laughs> he would one time like he beat you we up. were told we were told by our senior drone instructor, uh, Poggers, who was the guy who broke the combination lock. Poggers. To, yeah, Poggers. Uh he told us it, when we have this PFT coming up, we are to not ever end up on the quarter deck for IT. Uh, because it would fuck us up uh, uh conditionally. And it would it, it would like like exhaust us. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, so, so if if a drone instructor yeah, of this platoon ever tells you you gotta get on the quarter deck and empty your pockets, you you run away and everybody will just gotta say it too. You all gotta say it as if, as if you're one platoon. Say run away, run away. <laughs> That's exactly what he told us, and we did it. We ended up doing it too. If on Sergeant Batman, and he's like, oh, the squad leaders. The fuck you do with the platoon? <laughs> He's and then they're, they're like they're like, oh, we told the recruits, or the, uh, the squad leaders told the recruits to do this. And he's like, all right, well you're fucked up. This is what you're gonna do. You go empty your pockets and go on the corner deck. You get fucking smoked. And they're like, <laughs> and then they're like, uh, they were like, they're like, run away, run away. And then <laughs> and they're, all the platoon yells it, run away, run away. And then he's like. The fuck was that? <laughs> and then, then they're like, on it. Well, one, of, one, of, one of the recruits explained it to him. He goes, The bateau is instructed to. He gives it all the instruction. And then he goes, Y'all think you can run from me? And then, <laughs> like, the squad leaders ended up running into the head. And then they were, like, they were like, Run away, run away. And he goes, Don't run. I only fuck you up even more. <laughs> 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 The fuck? And then, and then he just told him to just take it back online, like call me. He's like, all right, just get the, get the fuck back there. Whatever, <laughs> we'll do this later. <laughs> Moral of the story: Don't join the Marine Corps. Kid. It was fucking retarded. Yeah. What was, was so the what was probably the worst experience you had during a uh, boot camp? Um. Oh yeah, that's a. Good you really want to know? Yeah, like, yeah, it was like, time, like a time where like, darkest, I don't want to quit. <laughs> the, it's actually my darkest secret. Wow. Oh. You pooped? You pooped in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I knew it was oh, you. Yeah. He, had <laughs> an exper- he, he had his, he, he no. got his, his, uh, his guts rearranged for the first time. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You actually know? Okay, like, hold yeah, on. What, Before yeah, you say it, is it, it, it going to be like something deeply depressing and personal that you is probably should illegal? share on the if podcast? If it's illegal, don't, don't share it. Most likely. All right, then don't. Most share likely, it's illegal. Give no, us the not, second not, it's not illegal. worst it's one. Not illegal. <laughs> oh, okay, I about to say if it's illegal, you must have gotten your guts rearranged it, it is because because when you join the military, the only people that know about it are the people that were in that platoon. Right, I mean, well, ultimately, it's up then. to you. It's don't tell it then because this is a comedy podcast. It's, it's a, a comedy, comedy podcast. <laughs> well, no, no. Remember, we can pass it off as as, as a joke and not take and people shouldn't take it seriously. You better, you better come, come up with good jokes on the spot for this. Are you already? <laughs> yeah. So, um, you got your guts rearranged, right? Yeah, you no. got your guts rearranged. That's back when it was like illegal to be gay in the military. Do you want to just go with the fact of saying that I just got raped? Yeah, oh. let's just say you got raped. <laughs> okay, fine. Tell us later. Yeah, tell us oh, later. Man, tell I, us I, later. I got, I got raped. Oh. That was when you were. That was when you came back a little bit later than anybody else, and they all That's tied you up and spit bi. inside your butthole. That's when you realized you were bi. Yeah. They all, nice. they, they all put you in in your locker and came all over you, and then they mm-hmm. left <laughs> to bed. They just they just jerked off all over the locker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck my brother the fuck my brother told me that story. like some guy got kicked out of boot because um he like tried to like molest something like another another army <laughs> what the fuck? like he tried to like, grab his penis or something like why, in the why, are, <laughs> why are you in did this I, office i tried to touch another trainee <laughs> did, I, did i tell you all about the, the the twins one of them tried to piss on another recruit after the crucible yeah yeah you already told this <laughs> what <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you already told this. Funny. You told this a while ago. 
I must thought, have forgotten about it. People uh, used to people used to piss like into like three to a toilet, and that one guy thought it would be funny to piss on another guy's uh, leg a little bit. Well, they were in separate toilets, and he just like like whipped his cock over in, in the direction of that guy, and then and then piss got ended up on his his boots, and he's like. And he reported immediately. <laughs> what a little bitch, dude. A little bit of PT <laughs> on your boot. <laughs> Come on now. That's still, that's funny. I still think it's I mean, funny. I mean, what, that's still would you a good be okay prank. with a total stranger just pissing well, on he, you? If, well, a, he if it was he, a prank, then yes. I mean, he can't, <laughs> I mean, he can't fully get mad at him for pissing on his... Pissing on him. In the, it wasn't an accident or did he do it on purpose? No, he did it on purpose. He did it on purpose. Oh, never mind then. It would yeah, be he nasty. Was, he was like, like, ah, I pissed on you. He's like, you're fucked. It would be nasty, but if you're a fellow recruit, I think it's a little bit funny. <laughs> I, mean, unless that, I mean, unless that's your thing, you know? No, well, then it, no, because the drill sergeant would find out even if you didn't say anything. I think it's a good So you'd have to say, he's a good friend. You'd <laughs> actually have to say, he would even say, uh, yes, that recruit pissed on me in the head. I think if Sam Pepper did that. <laughs> What's it? Is this Sam Pepper, the the prank star? I don't know. The dude like know, molest women. What, what the one who did like the video where like like he he pretended to take his two friends hostage and execute one of them. Yeah, in front yeah, of the yeah. Other. Oh yeah, dude. I I know Sam Pepper. Yeah. What what if Sam Pepper peed on on a person's foot a little bit? Well, Sam know. Pepper would probably do it on purpose, or he just like, or he'd do it and it's like it's a prank, bro. Yeah. Okay. I don't, I remember Sam Pe- Pepper was like real. What does Sam Pepper do now? I think he got like accused, or not even accused. I think he got like convicted of like uh, molestation or something. Mm. But yeah, maybe uh, he's, that maybe he's pranking too people far, uh, in prison still. I don't know. I think I heard somewhere at one point that he was kind of creepy because I remember he did a. There's like a streamer house that he was in, like a prankster house or mm-hmm. whatever the fuck, and. And like members in the house were like calling like it was like Sam you can't be doing this and he's like but well, yeah, you know it's part of the house. Too far. I mean that yeah that video that video of him like uh, kidnapping his two friends and pretending to like kill one of them definitely was like a little bit too far. It's like all right, bro, what the fuck? Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, dude, what the hell? Like, why would you do that? <laughs> like traumatizing this poor man for a prank on video. Maybe next time he should yeah. prank uh, people in prison and uh, see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> prank. Like, oh, oh, I grab. How pranked? I grab your penis. Ha <laughs> ha! Pranked. I I try to steal some of your some of your oranges right here. Some of your tangerines. <laughs> <laughs> you former YouTube star Sam Pepper stabbed to death after yeah. trying to steal an inmate's orange slices as a quote Dang. prank. <laughs> when the, we asked one of the guards uh, what the scene looked like, and he said. Sam Pepper was squished like a like a <laughs> tiny ant. It was actually very strange. He he looked like a looked like a Looney Tunes like squished like animation. <laughs> like a Bugs Bunny type like type uh, gag. And then like we had to we we tried pulling him off the the floor and he was like an accordion. He started playing like an accordion. <laughs> <laughs> Did you Milk, your mind works in very interesting ways. Huh? Your mind works in very interesting ways. Yeah. A lot of people, when I was growing up, people would always think that I was, like, drunk or high or something. But um, I didn't even drink until a, I was, like, 20, 20 years old. Just a funny fella, dude. And uh, I, I just think I have, like, a chemical in my brain that makes me a retarded. little bit Down syndrome, a little bit retarded. <laughs> I probably have autism. <laughs> because I... Uh, I have this weird thing where if I'm like talking to somebody, I can't look them in the eyes for too long, you know? Interesting. Like I, like, why? Well, I, I mean, I can, but like if I do, it's like for a little bit too long, but my eyes wander around all over the place. My friend said like, I have like a cracked out looking eyeballs that like dart around everywhere. This normal, <laughs> but it's true. It's true. And there's also that one time that uh I fell on top of my head about fifty times when I was a baby. <laughs> I was on a swing you set. You said you I fell started... on your head fifty times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my my head looks like a bowl, like a bowl of porridge. <laughs> Interesting. It's soft in the middle. <laughs> 
Uh, anyways, yeah. I just so what you're saying is you got a fucked up head. Yeah, you got a fucked up little brain, little brain stem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it. I got, I got an infected little mind. <laughs> yeah, it definitely sounds like it. Now, what if this infected little mind, I, I infected it into you, Argus, by kissing you with a long, deep kiss? <laughs> Do you think you could handle it? Um... Do you think I honestly you, don't know how to reply to that. Do you think if I turned you into a little creature I put in the Discord? Mm-hmm. Did you see it? The little man dancing in a bra? Uh-huh. Little bald man. Is that his penis in the GIF? Oh, no, he's wearing underwear. But anyways, what if I turned that you into that? How would you feel then? Hmm? Huh? Oh, fuck. Huh? What if I transformed you into into that Argus? Um, I don't know. Actually, honestly, I don't know if I'd be upset or if I'd just be kind of like, <laughs> whoa, maybe I maybe I could be a better comedian than Borderlon. Oh yeah, you yeah. could get it. That's your gift. Your yeah. gag gift. Definitely be better than me. Borderline, you maybe you should become crippled because people love watching crippled uh, comedians. Yeah, and I just fall on stage and be like, "All right, that's the show." Yeah, you did. that would be funny though. <laughs> if like I saw like a comedian with like broke like fucked up little polio legs and like he fell down on purpose, I would laugh. <laughs> <laughs> fucked up polio legs, <laughs> this is almost wor- what you just said right there is almost worse than the fuck nugget thing. <laughs> up little polio legs my dad yeah. almost had pol- my dad said he he like had polio for a little bit when he was a baby i mijo, i had my polio when i was when I'm a young man and the polio is uh inheritable and I when know. you're when your baby's born they ask you if you ever had like polio and you're like other shit and he told he just <laughs> he just told he just lied to the doctors like nah that didn't happen and then like years later he tells both me and my mom <laughs> and i'm like what i got a fucking polio <laughs> because of you, because <laughs> I didn't want to say. Because he didn't want to say. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. I'll be right back. I should have gotten a drink before this, but I didn't. So mm-hmm. yeah, I didn't. I didn't eat either. But I'm suffering through it. Why don't you? Why don't you fucking pussy up and you know, get Puss- <laughs> pussy up? <laughs> <laughs> How about you act like a woman and uh, try your hardest? Try your hardest and be beautiful. <laughs> hmm. I'm not in transition to be stronger than a woman. <laughs> Argus, gonna... did he really just walk away while I saying? Oh, yeah, I wanted to bring up, you, you know, like, you know, you see, when you see, like, actors in video games? Does that ever bother you? No. I, I think it's good. Because it... It, 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 it drags people who are not our age or near our age to video games like, oh, wow, this an actor is into it that that's an adult that's somebody a real person i know and they will look at it and they'll be like well this actually looks me you know what? oh and you could control it too that's true but also i feel like all the games i've seen where they put an actor into a video game it's always been like a last second decision and then they like rewrite the whole character just so it can fit the um the face you know like for example, yeah. like in a Dying Light uh, two, there's supposed to be this beautiful, hot, like badass woman, right? And then they put the dumb bitch from Daredevil. <laughs> this is my bias, but I, I hate that woman. <laughs> <laughs> like All the right, nurse well, lady well, from about, Daredevil, I Norman, hate that. Norman Reedus. Norman Reedus. Um, you know what? That was fine, but I feel like that was fine because they started that game with the idea that yeah we want this guy whereas he was, he's not just supposed to be in the stranding no yeah he's supposed to be in silent hills but then he got canceled yeah but anyways i think that's okay because like they had the idea in mind whereas like the, with the dying light 2 thing they had a character already built and then at the and then this lady like uh came on and they're like fuck it we're just gonna put we're just gonna put this uh this girl on it and change up the character it, was it like an sucks. A-list or B-list actor? It's a girl from. It's a nurse lady from Daredevil. 
I think she plays the same character in every fucking thing she's in. <laughs> which, char- which character does she play in Dying Light 2? Um, the, the black chick, the one that helps you out. Oh, Lawan? Yeah, Lawan. I thought she was, I thought she sucked balls. She played pretty much the exact same character she played in Daredevil, only that maybe slightly more badass. What an actor. But she wasn't supposed to be in the game originally, and they like at, she like, came on later, and then they changed the whole character. And I think uh, the game suffered because of it. Because I didn't like Lawan. I thought she was lame. <laughs> Tell Lawanda. She was she's lame and annoying. I was like, God, fucking get mm-hmm. off my ass, bro. <laughs> get out of here. That's why I kept telling her. <laughs> I have the question that they make a game with the rockets in the jungle. Or another example would be uh, Keanu Reeves. You, did, you ever heard like the original idea for Cyberpunk? No. The original idea no. was that... um. You know, like the little the little critter inside your head. It was supposed to be like a a selection. It could be like Morgan Blackhand or like a another like Night City Legend, right? Oh, like, that would've been cool. Yeah. So like, the, depending on who you picked, they would end up in your head. But then Keanu Reeves came on, and they're like, "Well, we can't, you know, have Keanu Reeves and have like a chance for no one to like, you know, have him in it." So they just got rid of that idea. And just like made the Johnny Silverhand character. And he just calls you a bitch the entire I mean, time. Yeah, John, he's really I mean, an asshole to you Johnny, the whole time. Johnny Silverhand was in, has been in cyberpunk lore for a long time anyway. Yeah, but I, I'm just saying like, um, because it was a actor, like a big actor, they like threw away like a good idea instead of just, you know, having just like the actors. Like, oh, he's actually in it actually. I think it would have been cool if they, like, they stuck with the what? original idea. Who do you think would have made? Who do you think would have best been casted for Morgan Blackhand, if they had done the, the um, idea that you proposed? I don't know. Anytime I hear like Morgan if Blackhand, I were like to choose like an actor. Brandon. Hmm. I don't know. Probably fucking Django because he's cool. <laughs> you mean Jimmy Fox? But he has to be fat though. I think Morgan Blackhand's fat. I think no, he's not. He's not fat. Yeah. Then yeah, Django, dude. What's the name again? Jimmy Fox. Jimmy Fox. Son of Red Fox. <laughs> That'd be badass. Yeah, Morgan Blackhand's cool. Wait, Wait what the how, fuck? How Jamie Fox got well, it, like he's not, like his dad. it doesn't say that he's dead. No, he's alive. Dude, what the fuck? Dude, okay. Sorry, Punk, right? Mm-hmm. This is what I think is really weird. <laughs> the fact that Sabuto Arasaka, right? Mm hmm. He's 150 years old. Yeah. The nigga's the nigga is old. Whoa. Like, <laughs> the what? Oh no! <laughs> no! Oh my god! No! Waterlog, what did you just say? I, what you I say? Frailed off. <laughs> I frailed off into my own mind. That's my bad. We'll to, we're, we're not that far in. We'll have to just edit it out. No, that's that's fine. That can stay. I think I've already. No, I think we already said you could say that by accident, but uh, try not. Yeah, to. I guess. <laughs> but Morgan, but like, if my first thought is when you describe that idea of like, oh, like you can pick, right? Mm-hmm. My first thought is after you kill, <laughs> after you kill Johnny Silverhand, mm-hmm. or oh my God, no, after you kill Adam Smasher, mm-hmm. um, can kiss uh, him. Uh, yeah, like after you kill Adam Smasher, you could put him in your head, and then, like you could just like talk shit to him. I think it'd be better if you could put him like into like a dildo or like a or, or oh a toilet seat. You could put him on into like a toilet seat and you just use him. <laughs> it's like Every when day. I first. It's like when I first got yes. in. Uh, my the first time I ever saw Adam Smasher, he said I looked like a. A piece a of nice fuckable, fuckable meat. piece. A piece of fuckable meat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what the fuck? The dialogue in that game is kind of silly sometimes. <laughs> it can be, but I think that, uh, I don't know. I've been playing it. I've enjoyed it a decent bit. And also, I don't think Johnny Silverhand's uh, terrible. I just think that because it was Keanu Reeves that they kind of like had to make it a last minute decision. Because mm-hmm. like the developers said that that they were planning on like these cool like different characters you could have picked. But because Keanu Reeves came on, they had to just change everything. Like Alt Cunningham or something? Yeah, I mean, it, I don't know who exactly it would have been. They just said that it was going to be like different Night City, like... Uh, legends, yeah. Legends, yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Maybe you could have been uh, fucking David Martinez <laughs> from the show. Oh, that would been cool. <laughs> I don't know. I no. just didn't like. I didn't like the ending where it was at, like V has to die. No, don't tell me I haven't been there. Shut the fuck up. I haven't yeah. finished it yet. He hasn't finished How? it yet. I haven't finished Cyberpunk. I literally just got it. Yeah, dude. You know what? I only <laughs> I only finished it once, and uh, I, every time I come back to it, I never finish it. <laughs> finished twice, two different endings. So I'm not trying to cut you out. We just haven't finished it yet. Jesus, I didn't know. But yeah, I was busy as fuck this week. And speaking of being busy busy as fuck, I started college this week. Oh yeah, this past week. Mm-hmm. Do you know how to read? Yeah, I know how to read. <laughs> you know how to write. What, what's a read? Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're just smart, what, dude. What's a... <laughs> dude, <laughs> walking away from my first week of college, I want to kill myself. What, do you, what, are, what are you trying to go to college for? Or do you not know yet? Computer science. Mm. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm, just, I'm getting gen eds out of the way. But... Yeah. Jesus Christ, dude! I want to kill myself after this week. Yeah, it's so overwhelming, so confusing. You don't have any programming it's... classes yet. Well, CS 110, but it's front end, not back end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is what my line of work would be. Programming so fucking badass, dude. Oh, it's so cool, and it's really funny because nobody in media knows what it actually looks like. Like everyone's like. <laughs> Those are like, the Matrix, right? <laughs> Numbers <maybe>. streaming downwards. <laughs> Viewers, or our listeners, I guess. Start just typing on your computer. Or just typing on your lap, uh, laptop, keyboard, whatever. Just randomly, with no sense of direction. That's what me, That's what most people think programming is. Open big notepad. Diggy. Start typing on that. Your big diggy. Open notepad, <laughs> and then put print, uh, parentheses, uh... What the hell is the little thing's called? <laughs> quotation yeah, mark. Hello world. Quotation mark. Parentheses. <laughs> depends on what you're doing though, because um, it depends on what language you're doing. Because I know I know Python. Python's kind of it does a lot of guesswork. Python. And, uh, Python's pretty sweet. I like Python. It's mostly because it takes all. Because like you know, with other things you have to do, like. It's it's Python's case sensitive. I think is what it's like. I think it's what I was told. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like case sensitive. So while that can be annoying, though, other programming languages, you're able. They, like there's, you, they, in one like in one language, there's you, there's no room for just the the system to guess what you want it to do. With Python, it can kind of guess. Really, I I I because I've been learning like Python. I, um, I think it's so case sensitive that even if you use like a space instead of a tab. It'll uh, fuck you, or, or if you use a tab instead of a space, it'll fuck everything up. Cause I've been, oh, no, I've been to... like writing code, and I'll forget like a like a parentheses or like a fucking um, what's it called? Mm-hmm. Little two dots. Like I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so fucking, I'm having so many brain farts right now. Those little two dots, mm-hmm. the little uh, thingies. If you forget <laughs> that, then then it just gives you a fucking fat syntax error. Talking about the semicolon. Yeah, the semicolon. It gives you a fat <laughs> syntax error, even if you forget that. And I'm mm. like, oh my. And then you're like, oh my fucking lord. But Python's cool. I've been learning Pyth- learning how to use Python because uh, mostly I want to get a job. But also because I just like it. That is... That is... Well, that's the mantra I've adopted. Uh I'm doing CS because I want to get a job. <laughs> mm-hmm. I want to be a sociologist, right? Uh, like my senior, junior year. Mm-hmm. Then I did some research and I was like, holy shit. Well, it's a useful skill to have, right? Yeah. It's useful to, you know, it's useful to be able to understand groups. It's useful to be able to understand people. Maybe you can but, write a program to figure out but, what to do with the homeless people. Like option <laughs> A, variable one, you throw them in, in, into the dirt. And kill them. Make it all else if statements. <laughs> yeah, if if homeless, <laughs> if homeless Put throw throw items. into a little little trash compactor. <laughs> else throw in fire. <laughs> yeah. Well, why did you answer? Yeah. Put them on a remote island where they can figure out their own government. <laughs> it makes sense. 
<laughs> but uh, but yeah. yeah, like, what were you saying? I want to get um, so yes, there's it's it's a growing market. There's a lot of people. There's a there's going to be a pretty high demand for it in the future, from what there I'm hearing. So I mean, there is right now. Yeah, even right now, it's it's going nuts. Um, I worked yeah. for a concrete uh pump like building company. They built like mm-hmm. the concrete pumps. And uh, they had, like, a whole, like, little section just for the guys who knew how to uh, program. Just because mm-hmm. they just need people to program those chips for them. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah, it seemed pretty chill. I asked the dude, like, how he got into it. He's like, oh, I just got, like, a couple of certificates and just started working here. You see, that's the other thing, yeah, too. It's, it's, it, it's pretty easy to get into it. Yeah. It's fun, too, because, like, when you're writing, like, even, like, you're writing, like, the most simple, like, programs, like, fucking, like, 10 lines at max. And then, like, you just, like, see a video of, like, I was like, oh, maybe you could do this same thing, but uh, quicker and with, like, a different uh, set of uh, commands. And it fucking, it blows my tits right off. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, oh, I, my word. I, I, I'm about to come. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's really funny, again, but how a lot of people in media understand programming again people just think you're like you're typing crazy fast right mm-hmm. and it's it's a lot of it's in my experience with um mostly working on the arduino ide i think is what it was mm-hmm. um my experience is a lot of typing the code i was spending like 20 minutes doing that yeah, running yeah. it getting an error and then just googling the solution <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, um, that's GitHub, that's why is this is. not working <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's literally okay error message copy paste the error message into youtube and figure out what what the hell's going on like that's it that's what it is <laughs> it's it's never perfect you always have to use google yeah well, I mean, then again, have you seen, like, people coding, like, in Vim and shit? They're fucking odds as fuck. <laughs> they're, they're the most odd because, like, there are those, like, text editors, right, that are don't use the mouse. They only use the, the keyboard. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, if you're super odds and, uh, <laughs> and love, like, learning difficult, complex things, they actually mm-hmm. can, like, type out code super fucking fast because it has, like, a million commands to, like, do different things. Mm-hmm. And uh, I hate Vim, but uh, <laughs> I think what I said this before. Co- What's the text editor you use? Uh, I've been learning, so they suggested I use uh, Atom. But beforehand, I I would use VS Code. I about to say that I use VS. I have VS Code on my laptop, but for my my CS one ten class, they they want us to use Atom. Yeah, yeah. You know what's funny though? Atom's getting <laughs> fucking deprecated, so they really should just tell people to use VS Code. Oh yeah, dude. The for they, but it's every, the exact same uh, for me. My CS one ten class has a Discord, and people, uh, and people were saying that uh, they can't get Adam working. Like they're having to, they're having to find like weird links to it. So, yeah, yeah. like we people were like, yeah, that <laughs> the professor said yesterday. He was like, he was like, yeah. So the ad, <laughs> the Adam link uh, went down. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> But like put that, but like have him saying that in Spanglish because he's a Mexican guy. So the fucking uh, este que, que so, se llama so la the atom, the atom, the atom, it, it, no, it no se went sirve. down, no, no work. It went down. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, dude, it's so hard to understand him sometimes, <laughs> dude. And then we've got, and then we've got, um, we've got, he's got TAs or like assist educational assistants. One mm-hmm. of them is one of them, some African guy. Yeah. I haven't talked to him, but he's got a British accent. So when he stood up, he's like, <laughs> he's, he's like, hi, my name is, uh, and I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? Fucking <laughs> like Tuesday. The guy's from, Ga- the oh, guy's from Ghana. And he's from Ghana. <laughs> and I was like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> That's the first time I've ever actually, one of the first times I've met someone from Ghana. And it never happened in high school. Next time you're it's in there, the um, show him the peace sign, but show it backwards. So you're, you're well, yeah. the back of your hand towards well, you him. Know, you know what's the crazy thing? After he introduced himself on the first day, bro grabbed his jacket and ran out of the lecture hall. <laughs> so, I don't know why he ran. Did you chase him? <laughs> Which way? Get back here. <laughs> Are you running? Let me shake your hand. Let me shake, shake Dude, your hand. Dude, that video is so funny. Shake I want to shake your hand. I just want to shake his hand. I'm like, <laughs> back the fuck up. 
you know, the, but yeah, going back to Adam, um, Adam, mm-hmm. cause it's like the same exact thing for me. Like the class that I'm taking is like, Oh, you t- just use Adam for this class. You can use other shit when you're done. But, um, when I went to go download Adam, right. Just from the website, <laughs> the first message you see on there now is like, Oh, we're actually sunsetting Adam. We're not going to be using it anymore after this date. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason is cause get, cause Adam was uh, created by GitHub the github company and the github company got fucking bought out from by microsoft like four years ago just you uh, yeah honestly and microsoft just use... was like we're not going to get rid of adam we're going to keep working on it and then four years later they're like now nah, we're getting rid of it <laughs> it's it's weird it's like at that point just either what i use i use visual studio code and i also have vs codium on my um yeah i mean everybody uses that I, shit. yeah most people use visual studio um, some people use VS Codium. VS Codium is on is on GitHub, if I'm correct. So it's a GitHub based fucking text editor. So I'm just like, yo, why are we using Adam? I'm like, just use VS Code. Or uh, uh, it uses what's VS that Codium. called? Fucking something with an E. Electron. I don't know. It VS Co- uh, Visual Studio Code's a little a little strange for me as well. So. Yeah, I mean, everybody uses VS Code, and there's, like, a ton of different branches oh, yeah. that people make and shit. Yeah. So, yeah. As long as, the, uh, yeah. They should really like, just uh, yeah. convert the classes to VS Code right away. I don't know why they're... Yeah, I don't know why we're using... Shit. I don't know why they're making... They want us to use uh, Atom. I don't know. I don't really know why. Mm-hmm. I used the No++ when I first started learning when I was in high school. What? Really? Yeah. And I was like, damn, this looks ugly. <laughs> this doesn't look anything like the, the cool shit I see online. Yeah, they're like, what the hell? This is, <laughs> this is what I'm using? This looks like Excel. What the fuck? <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah, a lot of people do love Notepad++. There's probably ways to fucking customize it to make it look nice. But, oh, yeah, uh, I bet there is. I don't know about none of that. I don't know about none of that. I don't know about none of that. None of that stuff. But yeah, so in, in in summary, my first week of college, blue dick. Um, I'm scared to go back. <laughs> yeah. In summary, yeah, Nano sucked. was better than Vim. Come kill me, guys. <laughs> I fucking dare you, bitch. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I'm sure I've probably learned Vim at some point, but uh, when I'm learning right now, yeah. I don't know about none of that stuff. I don't know Dude, about all that big city stuff, but out here in the country, you, we, we use Adam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is Will Smith a simp? What do you guys think about that? It's I been think, a while since he slapped Chris Rock, so we could talk about it. I think yes. it was pretty funny when he slapped Chris Rock. Keep I feel like my people wife's were more name angry than they should out have your fucking mouth. <laughs> Chris Rock should have started body slamming him. sad to hear it, but he is. He's a simp. He's a cuck. He's a cuck yeah, he's I really don't want. I really don't want. Orlan, you think he? You think he's a simp? That's obvious. Okay, you know. So it, my thing. Okay, so I feel like our positions have been established. My thoughts on is he a simp? No reason. How the fuck do you simp for your own damn wife? I mean, she like, like shit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she yeah, treats I mean, like shit. I mean, you simp. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, maybe. I don't know. I'm. I don't. I, I've. I've. St- I've. I've. I have avoided what went down between them and the whole people saying she cheated or people saying she. It's a polyamorous relationship or blah 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 or that she's poly. I don't really care. I don't even think he agreed um, on that. I just. My thing though is people are like, oh, he's a fucking simp. It's like, um, he's not. Like he's not. He didn't do that so he could get in his wife's good graces. He did that because. He's a pussy. Or at least <laughs> on some level though is. He did that. I'm feeling because you know he felt that his wife, what his his wife was being wronged, and he did what he thought was necessary to rectify that. You know, I think he did that because he knew that Chris Rock would fight him. <laughs> I but, think he did that because he knew he could do it. And he's so yeah, entitled. He's so entitled to nonviolence. Chris Rock was <laughs> rationalized. Him, him not saying anything against his. his against Jada cheating on him. Obviously cheated on him. It's not like I don't even think he agreed on that. It's a matter of record. That, and him I mean, not doing anything about it, that that makes me I sad. mean what's he supposed to do? 
I mean, at the same time, (laughs) I mean, but I'm saying at the same time, though, like you can, people can, people can cheat and y'all can, I'm I'm imagining the reason that they're still together is because, is because they have kids like, well, I don't, I I mean, their kids are grown. So like, that's not, their kids are grown. Jaden's fucking. Yeah. But Jaden's like, you know, he's a little bit, (laughs) he's a little not normal. (laughs) Bro. Jaden's been out the house since he was 15. That's not even a joke. Yeah, but I'm sure if he if his parents were divorced, he'd probably have like a panic attack and blow his brains out or something. I don't, no, he's <laughs> weird. Anyways, <laughs> I don't know. Jaden Smith. He's he, not a he, regular he dude. He, 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 Jaden Smith skips the hell out of leg days. If you ever seen a full <laughs> body picture of Jaden Smith, his body he's like his body's muscular. He's got chicken legs, bro. <laughs> not that I'm any better, but hey, Jaden's such a weird dude. <laughs> Like, I remember I, I saw, like, a tweet of him, like, or not a tweet, it was, like, a video of him talking about how, like, he wants to talk about, like, high, like, <laughs> highly intellectual topics with his friends when they're just all junking around. It's like, dude, you're just being a fucking edgelord fag, dude. That, <laughs> that's what's going on. It's not that you're more intelligent, it's that you're a douche. But that <laughs> dude's karate kid, bro. He's karate kid. Oh, sure. I liked, I liked, uh, what's his name again? Fucking hell, dude. <laughs> what? I, I need to eat my vitamins. <laughs> if you guys can describe it to me, I can't. I can, like, Google Fucking search it for you. Kung Fu. Kung Fu Man. First kid? The one in Karate Kid. Oh, Mr. Miyagi? Yeah. But the new one with Jaden Smith. What's his name again? Fucking Jackie Chan. Why do I keep Jackie forgetting Chan? What the fuck? I was thinking that, too. I was like, like, I don't think he's that. Like, I, I have the opposite memory of an elephant to have the the memory of like a fucking goldfish right now See, he's, that, he's that immemorable he's like, he's yeah i fucking chan. love i love jackie chan and i fucking I forgot jackie his name chan. very lovable especially, especially I'll, say who the hell like, I'll say who the hell doesn't like jackie chan my grandma's oh. infecting me with her dementia right now that's what oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> just, you heard it here folks she put a witch's dementia curse is- it's funny. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sad. Oh, and tragic. Spe- Speaking of witches, there's a there's like y'all know on TikTok there's witches, right? People that claim oh, to be witches. Yes, I love yeah, witches. Some, <laughs> some guy you challenged So some guy challenged the witches of TikTok to put a spell on him, right? Uh-huh. So like they asked like one of them like, Yeah, I need hair, I need a f- you know, I need like these things, right? Picture you, blah blah blah. I need your cum, I need a picture of your cock. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she does a rich <laughs> I need a dildo molded in the shape of your cock. <laughs> um she did a rich she did a, her ritual, right? And she's like, it'll take two, it'll take three days or three weeks before it start happening, right? It's been three and a half weeks, and the guy points out that nothing has happened. So guess what the witches have concluded? He, they they've come to the conclusion that he's a wizard of the Freemason. I'm not even joking. Why is he? Why is <laughs> he part of the wizard. Freemasons though? I don't know. They think he's a wizard though. He's but he he's like yeah. So that happened. So they've concluded that I'm a fucking wizard. <laughs> and oh, like, so this guy's trying yeah, to they, debunk they, them yeah they think he yeah he's yeah so instead of so like he's like so instead of them admitting that it's like it's probably not real like it probably doesn't even, it's not a thing they just think i'm a wizard he's a warlock <laughs> it's a proper <laughs> term. Yeah, they, but yeah so apparently these women think he is a he is a wizard specifically a wizard of the freemasons and like they were Pro- one of them was like prodding at him and saying like yeah what level of a mason are you he didn't even know what that was <laughs> so he just started fucking with them and then one of them made a video saying look this is proof he's a wizard of the freemasons and he was just joking he was completely just joking <laughs> with them but they think he's a fucking wizard yeah those witches are so funny because i'm gonna i'm gonna most of the witches i've seen at least i'm not gonna say all of them on, on tiktok but most of them are mm-hmm. like white people <laughs> oh yeah White like, people I'm trying witch. to like, I'm like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> trying to like use, like, like actual like uh, scary, spooky witches, like in Mexico. Like people... My my fucking grandmother like knows like weird, creepy ass shit before she had started getting mm-hmm. dementia. She did like some creepy ass oh, weird shit, it? trying to convince my uh, my sister to use like spells on people and shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like white people trying to do voodoo. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Or it's, like, or it's like white people, or it's like, and the other thing too is that these these TikTok witches, right? They they use it. They do their wizardry. They love it, right? 
but mm -hmm. let's be honest they would probably be very quick to write off um whichever culture that witchery or the witchery that they are practicing comes from they'd be very quick to call, call it weird and barbaric and that's like that you know does that make sense yeah, right yeah. Like, that, like that, white like... people embracing voodoo, but then people of color, like back in Africa or in the South, doing voodoo. They're like that. Yeah, they because believe... they're doing like dark ass shit, like 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 the voodoo or like Santeria, whatever the fuck, whatever it is. That I, shit, that I... shit's always been like creepy as fuck and like an evil thing. I always assumed that they're like I... chopping like kids' testicles off and using them in their potions and shit. <laughs> it's fucking dark, bro. I, I Don't think, fuck with no wiz, no witch. <laughs> I think voodoo is not only real but also. Yeah, it's cool. No, yeah. I don't. I don't think. I think it's terrifying. I'm fucking it's, terrified of witches. <laughs> well, it's like it's Not like witches. for example, in countries like like in countries like Liberia, um, dur especially during like the Liberian civil war and the regimes during that, um, a main way that they kept people that they kept people from doing anything was they'd actually <laughs> put up this like the government would say these things about their leader, like oh. He's a wizard. Like he eats children to gain to gain He's supernatural powers. <laughs> he can fly and stuff, right? They're born and, to Salem. And like, yeah, kind of, kind of like that. And but like, and it's it's not, it's it's kind of it is loosely grounded in the local pop in the local population's belief mm -hmm. system, but it's just blown way out of proportions. And it's like it's like we think that's weird, right? We think. That's weird, but then we equate that, we equate how it's been weaponized against people to how it actually is, when it's a lot more tame and a lot more, a lot less uh, what we imagine it is. I don't think it's tame. I think it's dark, evil wizardry. <laughs> the I mean, dark arts. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you're a white man, and this, you're a white man no, pretending dude. to be a Mexican. I fucking know, <laughs> I, dude. My dude, my grandma, like people, people in Mexico, dude, they don't we fuck around with no. We fucking, established. Like, we, we established. For, we established before that your grandma is not the best lady to ever live. So. Well, listen, dude. The thing is that in Mexico, in like Latin countries, like. Like that type of like like witchcraft and shit is not like taken like as like oh it's such a fun cool funny thing no oh, that shit's, no 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 that's just some dark saying. shit like people like murder their families and shit just for like yeah, a weird people... spell and shit like that <laughs> yeah this, <laughs> making like a they... rhino horn albino penis uh, albino boy's <laughs> penis uh, potion <laughs> okay yeah this th that that is true the fact that it's not it's not something to 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 kind of take lightly converting with they're they're talking with demons <laughs> oh like they're like talking with demons and shit and uh you know the high on lsd talking to the demons that's just fucking spooky dude dude mm -hmm. i love talking i love talking to demons high on lsd dude but yeah i think white people are the ones who are like oh it's funny you can do this funny little spell in 10 minutes to make your well, see, husband yeah. love you more and stop cheating well, see on that you. <laughs> that's what that's kind of, that's a lot of what i'm saying or at least i think i'm trying to to say anyway is that like yeah white people they either take it lightly or they just outright deny they won't take it seriously unless other white people do it you know like when they commit slavery if witchcraft if witchcraft was uh was real do you think they would all be just fucking themselves over like would that be fucking terrifying <laughs> if witchcraft was real right and all these people like playing with like like spells and shit if they started working one day then that would be spooky hello what i, I was trying to track what you're saying like let's say one day track? like like witchcraft becomes real Right. And all these witches on TikTok, all their spells suddenly start working. Do you think the world start will start no. crumbling like this? <laughs> They're gonna start what? Like the world will start crumbling? Not, like I, all the politics in the world would just start. Every time, every time you say something, somebody starts. Argus. <laughs> I think Argus is starting to fight his his twin brother. No, sorry, they were they started having an argument, so I told him to take it out of outside of the room. Anyways. The world would turn against them. Is that what you, you said? think the world would like start crumbling because all these witches' spells would just start working one day? <laughs> all the I'm hexes, sure they yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> they have like forty-five curses on Donald Trump, and he would like he would like die in like forty-five different ways. 
<laughs> yeah, it just, he just gets resurrected each time because <laughs> yeah the universe is like oh fuck we gotta <laughs> that'd be kind of funny yeah witches are scary dude if there are any witches that... are listening don't curse me because that shit's you... spooky <laughs> do y'all yeah do, do y'all think that it's kind of in... do y'all think that it's kind of weird that the universe lets lets terrible people have happy endings I think that's weird uh, I think that's because the universe thinks it's kind of funny and cool and uh, <laughs> let's face it like the Jay. dark sad uh, people have the best storylines <laughs> like general butt naked for example yeah you know? general butt fucking naked <laughs> yeah general butt naked demanding that his victims accept his apology for you know murdering their you know their what's husbands the fun? i saw an article about general <laughs> butt naked and they said that before every battle he would slay a child <laughs> he would slay a 12 that year old was, girl so that was the thing he has he has killed children though a lot of people think um it, it's kind of, it goes back to the thing i had mentioned before how they they use local legend or they use local um that's why, why, would they, why would they word it like slay a child well, okay, so <laughs> like with the sword? So the, the idea was that <laughs> the idea the was that he would the idea was that he would um he'd kill a kid. He's killed kids, though a lot of the statements like, Oh, I killed children and give me powers, that isn't from like that's from him. Like he it's literally kids, from their blood. He yeah, he says he he's done that. Nobody else has said he's done that. <laughs> Not even like the people that that fought with him during when he was a warlord. Like it's mostly him saying, "Like I w I would slay the child and then drink their blood <laughs> to become to become a, a witch doctor." Like maybe it works like, though. I mean, he never like, died. He, <laughs> he I never... mean, no, and that's the and that's and that's why so many people believe even today <laughs> that oh, it must have worked because he never got shot. I, I he never the, got killed. He never got hurt. Articles that he'd slay a child, drink their blood, and then he would be granted. <laughs> Yeah, no, an invulnerability to bullets yeah, it, 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 he, there was even <laughs> something there were no i literally listened to a podcast about this not too long ago he he would there was a ritual he did where it would supposedly he had the power to turn invisible like, <laughs> would, like, it, like he could be invisible is what is like he's like i could turn invisible and people are like no you could not and he's like yes i could i could I, <laughs> like i could i I'd, i would just slay a child and i'd turn invisible He's like, watch this. Nobody would want to look at you. What do you mean? He's like, watch this. He turns. Yeah. He doesn't turn invisible, but he just kills the entire room. It's like, well, see, yeah, I'm invisible, guys. And, 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 no, and, yeah, like, and then he fought naked. He fought butt ass naked. Like you can find yep. videos of it. Like yep. they were. You can find videos of him butt ass naked killing people, in in like in little strip. And by the way, when people when people say battle, we're not talking like. The big like we're not talking tanks and shit. We're talking like <laughs> we're talking like little skirmishes yeah. in the in the capital of Liberia, like little street fights, like nothing, like not battles. He it's calls a, I mean, them it's battles. A, it's a battle. Everyone's like, that's not that's not a how, battle. How big dude. does a battle have to be to be a battle? Hmm? Um, on, when I think of a when I think now. of a battle, I think five v five. That's a battle. <laughs> When I think of a battle, I think an actual battle. I don't think like uh, I don't think a fucking like a little street brawl, which is what he was doing, like with his child soldiers and shit. Yep. You know, yeah, he thought he, he claimed he could turn invisible. Most people even say, most people say collectively, "Oh, you're full of shit." He was playing Antistasi in real life. <laughs> yeah, no, he's he is in every sense of the word. Uh, General Butt Naked is full of shit. No, he's he's not full of anything actually because he never got killed. <laughs> but like, and, and maybe like he, he's right. We'll keep he, an eye on him until then. Yeah, a lot of this, a lot of the things that like he said he could do, those don't come from other people. Those come from his <laughs> own memoirs, and he like he just passes them off as other people's writing. Yeah, he's like, look, this other person said I could turn invisible, and people are like, no, you like, nah. -uh. This literally says <laughs> General Butt Naked on the, on the bot, on like the the author, dude. What are you talking about? You, did, this is not somebody else's writings. These are yours. When I saw he slew a child, I fucking burst out laughing because <laughs> he, he would slay, slay a child. he would slay like a dragon. <laughs> it's like a it's like his well, dragon. So, so it's funny. You know what made him? Because because like at, at some point during the war, he stopped 
being general butt naked and you know yeah. well, you want to know in his own memoir what he wrote what do you do he wrote the, I'm going to paraphrase because I don't remember the exact quote basically he said he had just finished killing a, a little girl and that's when Jesus came and spoke <laughs> to him <laughs> He's like, dude, he's like, that's fucking he, awesome. He's like, I had just <laughs> slew a little girl. Like, I had, I had just killed this little kid, and, and, uh, and then Jesus came to me, and I was like, so wait, pause. You killed a kid in front of Jesus, and Jesus <laughs> is like, yo, you have to, be, you have to spread my gospel. <laughs> Sir, you, need, you need to vacate Chuck E. Cheese and move to. I'm tired of all these liberals trying to, uh, trying to. <laughs> spread my doctrine like pussies we need a real yeah, man and dude, in, in the lead and dude, now, in the forefront yeah and now now he just goes around just you know it's you know uh, people yeah demanding that uh his his victims accept his apology and we're not talking like he does it in like a he it's weird because he isn't when he does it he's not going like will you accept my apology and if they say no he's like very well i understand it's like talking we're talking he like sits there and he's like you have to accept my apology he like berates them until they say i accept your apology so it's not even sincere apologies yeah but he's, he's just doing it for the sake like it's obvious he's just doing it so he can feel good about himself that's the only reason he's like, come on give me say it say you accept it come on yeah which <laughs> may just makes him an even bigger piece of shit you know? Facebook and they're like asleep he's they're like sleeping in their house and like he just keeps saying yeah, check, tapping on check the, the top check the topics channel <laughs> real quick the topic mm -hmm. the, the topics channel topic yeah topics? general butt naked right there that's him they're right there honestly that'd be terrifying if you were like a like a oh, twelve yeah, year old dude. boy trying to fight like an adult man that's naked. <laughs> yeah, there are many. His, there's a lot of. There's quite a couple historical. Um, <laughs> that's him. Yeah, that is what he looked like at the time. Anyway, um, yeah, no, there's a lot of merits to fighting naked. Like the Gauls, uh, when they fought the Romans, the Gauls. Fought oh, naked. I was looking at the, the yeah, Gauls. I was like, I was like that's mm -hmm, the Gauls. The hell are where, no, where no. are they from? The, they're they're basically Germans. The Gaul, like the the, the oh. Gallic Wars against the Rome fought against barbarians as they called them. Damn, they fought naked. Yeah, well, many many Gallic tribes fought naked. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, well, the reason is is that even even though historians can't seem to figure out why these people or why anyone has ever fought naked, the best idea that they have is that is that in battle, seeing men charging at you with swords uh, in the nude. And many of the, mm -hmm. and many a time erect was a little uh, disheartening <laughs> for another soldier just yep. to see like oh my god this guy's this guy's like holy shit this guy's running at me he's fucking got his cock out like he's got a fucking <laughs> hog on him I can't kill yeah, this guy yeah yeah like he's like <laughs> he's visibly fucking erect like a lot of people a lot of historians are like yeah that's probably very disheartening <laughs> to see that <laughs> yeah so that's probably why. The Gauls and thus General Butt Naked also fought in the nude. But he said he also fought in the nude because when he killed kids, he would turn invisible. So he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, they can't see me. Like they, I turned invisible, right? And I fight naked because if I do turn invisible, my clothes are still gonna be there. Like so I nightingale. have to fight naked. He's like a nightingale yeah. in a uh, Skyrim. You could turn invisible with that yeah, suit of armor. Bro, bro said he was like a fucking. Head. We we didn't know you're uh, just a guy. We, you killed a kid naked. Like, we Dude, just some guy. I know, literally, General Butt Naked. He is a chronic liar. <laughs> Like, he's a chronic murderer too. Lie. It seems. Yeah, that too. <laughs> like, yeah, dude is a is a what's his name? Um, Balhi. Uh, I'm, yeah, J Mr. Blahi is his name. Joshua Milton Blahi. Joshua Blahi is a fucking chronic liar. Like G General Butt Naked. Chronic, yeah, that's his name. A lot of people don't like to call him General Butt Naked because you know it adds to the whole like well, stick. He's, uh, he's a general he in my eyes still. He's, still he's general not a general naked. though. He's a bum. <laughs> he's still my he's general. He's a fucking loser. <laughs> he's still my general all these years later. But, but no, dude, yeah, he's he's a cron. He just he just can't help but not lie. It is so funny to me. Yeah, I mean that guy sounds he, insane. I'm surprised no one's killed him yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised too. He said he's a um. He said he when he was a child he was a he was a child shaman. That's what he said he did mm -hmm. when he was a kid. He was a shaman. 
yeah as, as a little boy and then like though like many people are saying that's probably a lie because there's no uh there's not many tribes of very few tribes in liberia at the time anyway that um uh what's the word that uh practiced anything that he described maybe he was so... a real wizard and we we're just you're just, you're just a denier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're right dude i'm so sorry and only the strength of jesus christ <laughs> could turn him from his evil ways yeah the strength of jesus christ and joshua milton blah he can what if you died and you me? met general butt naked up in heaven he's still alive no but what if he died oh, he's got, and he's, I met I mean, when you die i mean like when you're like a fucking alien. oh um I don't know. He's got a, he's got a lot of kids. I hope they know their dad's a piece of shit. No, but what if you meet him up in heaven? He's like, so I can come in. All right, so you die, right? You're you're at the pearly gates, and you you just hear overhear him. It's like, and then I slew the child. Ha 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 ha. I hear I hear him arguing with God because God's like, no, you can't come in here. No, like, no, it's can't. him and Jesus like piling <laughs> around. They're like, yeah, <laughs> they're like, uh, it was like, so funny fuck, when you man? blew up that that store. <laughs> I'm like Jesus, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like, what, like man? what, is it, man? What you can't? You never seen a dead kid before? I mean, you look, look down. We can see a billion of them right there. You look down <laughs> through the clouds into limbo. There's like a billion dead children, Just crawling <laughs> fetuses. I'm like, fuck. This is what the, this is what Donald Trump was talking about. Yeah, <laughs> all these <laughs> these fields of fetuses. <laughs> that is what that's what a lot of that's like that's what uh that's what people like donald trump think is happening <laughs> yeah i don't even know what a fetus would even end up in heaven i don't i don't think so if it's not sentient know. enough do worms end up in heaven <laughs> <laughs> it's like the question of if it's like that question that, that a friend or like your theoretical girlfriend poses to you is if I was a worm, would you still love me? <laughs> that is such a stupid question. Of course not. <laughs> if I was a fucking tiny little measly worm, <laughs> like would you like some girl in my class? She was at this was senior year. She's like, yeah. I asked my boyfriend if uh, if I was a worm, would he still love me? And he said he'd crush me. <laughs> yeah. He'd eat you. I'm like, I'm <laughs> like, well, that's the that is the logical course of action. Like, what what, what are you gonna he do if your partner worms. turns into? What are you gonna do if your if your partner turns into a fucking worm? You're just gonna keep love keep keep them with you or something? I get a little petri dish full of like uh, like sugar and stuff and put them in there. You know, like a, like a like or like a, like those big worm, uh -huh. worm uh, cubes full of dirt just like, yeah. just a big box of dirt really i'm just like yeah like a little terrarium or something yeah, like that yeah. i'm just like i'm just like what kind of question is that of course i would i put a tick in there and see if they could battle each other <laughs> <laughs> see if my new Come warm on, baby, you got it. <laughs> warm girlfriend could defeat this tick <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny <laughs> And then when I get tight, when then when she's being a real bitch and like just crawling around not doing much, I'm just gonna fucking get put a frog in there to threaten her. <laughs> <laughs> a frog or like a bird or something. <laughs> a little tit, a little tit bird. What are they called? Booby. A, a booby. booby. Yeah, yeah. Booby. A booby. I was thinking. There's actually mouse. several species of birds that are called tits or boobs. Yeah, I get a little, a little fucking. East Island or, or, or even Cox. No, I don't know about Cox. Oh. I don't know about that. Get a little East Islander tit, you know. Put put it against my uh, my beautiful girlfriend, who's now a worm. It's like that Kafka book. Where what was it called? What? I forget hmm. what that book was called, but it was like the one where like he turns into a cockroach one day. <laughs> He's like, you I woke up. At, yeah, I woke up and then cockroach. one day I was a cockroach. And he just locks himself in the room because he's too afraid of going outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Imagine that. Yeah. Imagine becoming a cockroach. I would smash. Oh, my girlfriend became a cockroach and smash her to bits. So I don't give a shit. <laughs> Do you have a girlfriend? No. My, theor <laughs> my theoretical my theoretical wife of, of 40 years turned into a well, cockroach. Yeah, I, I would because... I would, I, I, I would, because remember, I'm a, I'm an incel and shit. 
Yeah, cockroaches are nasty, bro. <laughs> Oh, dude, I forget. I, I, we literally talked about this yesterday that we were all going to watch an episode of Ancient Aliens. It completely slipped my mind. Oh, I forgot about that, too. Okay, that's for next episode. <laughs> I don't remember agreeing to that. Ancient but okay. Aliens. <laughs> yeah, Did uh, you uh, well, fucking know an alien fucking raped the shit out of Julius Caesar? <laughs> Caligula, <laughs> Caligula destroyed yeah. right? <laughs> Something like that. We got six minutes left. We want to... Which topic we end, end this We with? have ten minutes, actually. Actually, we have 10. Actually, <laughs> you guys know how to do math. Well, I thought we started what? at 4, right? Well, we started, started like at 4, 4, 10 because uh, you went to get 4, water 10. Or Whoops. No, I, got, I wanted to get water, whatever. Yeah, mm, yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Don't do what Borla um, did actually? last time because it's my responsibility to tell you the time. You <laughs> fuck. <laughs> You fucking little ingrate. I'm going to crush you like a worm, no less. That's <laughs> 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 my hot girl, like, bully woman. If we were all yeah, females, what kind of woman would you be, you think? I was a what? If you, if you were a female, what kind of woman would you be? I don't... What, what do you mean, what kind? Like, I think, yeah, I think would you be sad, a dumb bitch or unlovable. be a slut? I'd be a fat, unlovable woman who. who no, tries no. To be let's nice. just say we're all hot. We're all. We all look like a uh, Natalie Portman. We're all. We're. We're. We're, we're triplets. <laughs> I would. I would have friends, mainly male, and I would let them each hit. Damn. <laughs> You're yeah, gonna get so turned out. That, that's a. Yeah. That's a. That's a very complicated way of saying I'd let the all the homies hit. It's a very <laughs> complicated way of saying whore. it. <laughs> Again, dude. That's my line. I'm the. I'm the incel here. I'd be a comedian. I would be bad at comedy, but I'd get away <laughs> with it for being would, hot. <laughs> Ar Argus is the Uno reverse card. He would, he would turn around and start making slam posts about men and feminism. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what you would be. You would. You would hate men. No, if I was if I was a woman, you know, I if I was a woman, I'd be um, I'd probably be like um. I don't know. I'd probably be like Candace Owens, so I can like be rich and. Who the hell is Candace Owens? A bitch, that too. Oh, you'd be a fucking little catty little bitch. I'd be a <laughs> I'd be a total sellout. <laughs> Candace Owens is the chick. Well, one is she, Candace Owens is a chick is the chick who pro who you probably heard last year, um, say that uh, Australia is. A tyrannical government, and the United States needs to invade. What the hell? I know <laughs> she's crazy and she's stupid. Um, oh, I'd be Armor Armor Ant. I make a Twitch channel and make a million dollars. Oh. Mm. And I have you. Times? I have you two come on every now and then because we're all twin sisters. So. Uh, you, know many, you know how many times I fucking. Sell. Huh? I get to work and we have this little monitor that pulls up uh, like Twitter feeds of like different shit. Like one's for like, mm -hmm. one's, for, one's for like Fort Worth news, one's for like Fort Worth like, weather, one's for like Fort Worth crime, one is for, for for activism activities, such as, uh, Pal action, Palestine, Palestine action. Okay. Post the dumbest shit against Israel, and and the company I'm protecting. And then Israel's like, no, nah, actually, Palestine stinks, and we love bombing them. I'm, I'm sure they have their own Twitter <laughs> feed where it's like, you guys know they're, they're fucking lying, right? And yeah, then like, Israel has videos of, like, the female soldiers shooting mortars against villages. <laughs> you ever seen that? Mm -hmm. Like, because, like, like, you know, Israel has the, uh, the required fucking military uh, thingy. Like everybody, everybody has to be in the military, including women. But they usually put the women on like the mortar teams and stuff, or artillery like uh, teams. And they, I saw like this video like all these women just like riding, riding on fucking, <laughs> on the art artillery shells before firing it against the village. <laughs> there was, a I was like, story Damn, a while this is fucking dark. Like they were all laughing and shit. <laughs> there was a story a while back uh, in Palestine where they were close to the border, mm -hmm. and they, the, these these soldiers from Palestine, they set up a mortar pit right next yeah. to a school. Yeah. And and they told uh, the, the parents who knew that this was happening told all their kids to go to school anyways. Damn. And 
and yeah, and then and then the, those soldiers started firing the mortars across the border it's from the up. school. And when Israel was like, like you're actually killing innocent people, we're gonna have to rocket that shit. So they used high mark rockets to fucking bombard the place until they hit the, because they couldn't just go over the border and find them. Mm-hmm. They had to like do a distance shot. So they, they used the rockets to shoot it. So they not only shot the mortar pit, but they ended up shooting the school because they're not that accurate. And yeah, so like, like once they did that, Palestine was like getting on like the media and feeds, and they're like, like look, Israel just bombarded a school. They they shot rockets at a school. They're killing us, and they're like, dude, you still have a mortar pit right outside of the fucking school, and told your kids to go go there still. Yeah, it's pretty dark the whole Israel Palestine thing. Oh, because yeah. Israel can't share. <laughs> the mm-hmm. same with Palestine, they don't know how to share. <laughs> I mean, I, they're I mean they're both claiming it's holy, holy land, aren't they? It's their it, they, except it's, they don't know how to share. That's the real fucking problem. Yeah, that is the problem. <laughs> it's 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 holy land that is significant to both of them, and most of them want to play it off like it's only significant to one of them when are all the catholics gonna rise up against these savages and take back jerusalem huh like there's a (laughs) what's it called there's fucking there's interviews uh, that people do with israelis about it and a lot of them quite a couple of them in the interviews uh say pretty much the same thing that uh oh we're, we're they're they're just not like us right yeah, they were Jewish people worship God. Palestinians, majority of Palestinians are Christians. They worship the same God. They're not that different. <laughs> They're just ethnically different. And it, at the end of the day, it make, that doesn't that difference. They're more alike than they care to admit. I think it's time for the Catholics to Deus Volt once more. <laughs> like all the Crusades passed. <laughs> we got so political. Okay, Steven Crowder. <laughs> hmm. Nah. Would you guys join a crusade? No. What if it was cool, though? Do you like raping <laughs> and pillaging? If it was cool, though. What if they had, like, free snacks? <laughs> what if he had cool armor? <laughs> if he had a cool armor and a claymore, what, the, what about them? Hmm. Or maybe, like, they gave you, like, some, like, Vocaloid... Uh, posters to join. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you know how Vocaloid is. <laughs> what if they gave you like a Konosuba plushie? They give you. Mm. They gave you Megumin plushies. That's good. That's, <laughs> like explosion all over these, <laughs> all over these Middle Easterns. <laughs> oh man. The Crusades are. The, yo, all the dudes who did the crusade, bunch of bozos. Hell no. I did the crusades constantly in Crusader Kings. <laughs> <laughs> no, the guys who actually did it. <laughs> yeah. Crusades are crazy, bro. I'm surprised. What's the point of them again? They're like trying to spread Catholicism, uh, but they just like kill a bunch of brown people, go home, and they, like, we've done it, brothers. We've spread Catholicism. And they're like, they're not embracing Catholicism. I wonder why. Let's go invade I mean, them again. Basically, the Catholics would would invade Jerusalem to try to take it for themselves, and sometimes they would hold it for a while, but then all the Muslims would join would join up and kick them all out. Yeah. I think. I mean, there's like a dump, bunch of different reasons. I think the the real reason that Catholics kept losing is because you know there's Catholics and Christians and fucking Orthodox, and all that shit is too split up, whereas Muslim is just you know Muslim. And, well, uh, it's mostly race wars between Muslim countries, but their religion is basically the same. <laughs> I think, I think the other reason that the Crusades have failed so much is because we're talking they're making these long ass treks. Yep. All the way from Europe to the Middle East, they're like lose like a shitload of dudes are dying on the way there, oh, and then I know. <laughs> and then they like a shitload of dudes are dying just trying to get there. And then they come, and then they get there. They start holding Jerusalem. Every Arab within every Arab nation and every Arab within fucking From a thousand Egypt miles and Africa, all fucking all the way join up because the they're because they're like the white man's invading us. We need to stop them. Then they just attack Jerusalem, drive mm-hmm. them out, and then for the Crusaders, they're literally just spending the next month, like the next. I, 
I don't know, fucking year running for their lives trying to get back. And in the process, another shitload of them die in the process. But listen, it's all worth it to look at that big, beautiful black cube. Good night, everybody. That's it.